Hey YouTube, I just got back from a Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Um, so uh, if you do not want to hear spoilers, do not watch this review. Either if you want to know what really happened in the movie, watch this review. Or if you've already seen the movie and you want to see a review, check this out. Alright, I'm going to have to say some spoilers because you know I got to give an awesome kick-ass review, right? So get this, right? Jackie Earl ha Haley's Freddy is sick and twisted in this remake. There were so many people going on all these websites saying, I hate that Freddy's innocent. I hate that Freddy's like this. I hate that. Well, guess what? Freddy's not innocent at all. He's sick. He's twisted. He's demented. It's crazy as hell. And you know that little clip where uh, Freddy's talking to Nancy in the snow? That was the PG version. In the real version, he licks her freaking face. He's freaking crazy as hell in this movie. It, it is uh, a dark, sick, twisted tale of a Nightmare on Elm Street. It is awesome. Pure awesomeness. Freddy is so creepy in this movie. I literally jumped 20 times. Not only jumped three times during the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. I love that movie, but this film I jumped 20 times. The whole entire film is a giant nightmare. You're immersed in a nightmare. Now there's like minutes in between where it's not a nightmare, but basically the whole entire film is a nightmare. It's so creepy. I mean, I was in the movie theater and people were terrified. I saw people going like this. I saw people ducking down. They didn't want to look at, at Freddy, you know, because he was so creepy. The makeup was fantastic. The clips don't do it justice. When you see it on the big screen, you see Freddy's face. You can actually see um, a hole in his face in one shot and it's so creepy his face is all melted and he's just creepy as hell in this remake it's amazing Samuel Bear did an amazing job of capturing uh, a dark feel to the remake Rooney Mara's performance in the remake is fantastic she does an amazing job at playing N Nancy uh, everything in this movie is awesome. Um, uh, my, my favorite scene with Rooney Mara is where uh, Rooney Mara finds the pictures that uh, Freddy hid away. And just the look on her face looking at those pictures, you actually like feel, cr feel like crying for her character because... Her performance in the film is so amazing. Rooney Mara, if you're watching this remake review of A Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, you rock. You're awesome. Your performance in this remake was amazing. Uh, her performance was phenomenal. Uh, Thomas Decker did an amazing job too. I think he was fantastic in this movie. Everybody did an amazing job. Everybody played their character serious. They gave a really dark tone to the remake. Uh, Katie Cassidy did a fantastic job at playing Chris. Uh, this movie was amazing. Kyle Gallner played, played an amazing character named Quentin. And he was fantastic in this film. I, I love this film. I think, I'm going to tell you this. I think it's the best remake ever made. I know that. You know, a lot of you are going to be like, oh, well, you said that like a million times even before you did this review. Well, that is true. But now I can actually say it's the best remake ever made. That's what I think, and that's my opinion. A Nightmare on Elm Street is my favorite horror film. And I'm going to say that the Nightmare on Elm Street remake is like this with the original. It's on the same boat. I mean, we got, you know, uh, the original is like... One part of the boat, and the remake is the other part of the boat. They're both great, and they both go together like this. On the same level, yo. Yeah, I like that. It's awesome.
the Kick Ass Yo. The original is a fantastic classic. The remake is not is not just a remake. It's a freaking masterpiece. I love this movie. I love it. It's it. Oh, the whole movie is good. The, uh, there's not one scene in the movie I don't like. I could watch this film a million times and still be happy about it. In fact, I could watch it more than a million times. I could watch the original Nightmare on the Street back to back with the remake. Every single time I watch the original, I could just go and watch the remake with it. Because that's how good it is. Uh, Samuel Bear, you are one of the best upcoming directors. And I can see that. I cannot wait to see what your next film is going to be. You rock, man. You, your horror film of A Nightmare on the Street, totally creepy, man. You are an awesome director. And this film just proves that you're you kick ass, man. And, um, you know, producer Andrew Form, you did an awesome job doing producer. You got an awesome cast here, you know. And uh, Brad Fuller. And Andrew Form, you guys rock. You did a great job. Dunes rocks. I love this film. It's fantastic. I mean, everything really came together on this film. It was really amazing. The special effects were fantastic. I mean, a lot of people were complaining about some CGI. And, of course, you see that in a couple of scenes. You know, like where Freddy comes out of the wall. Yeah, that's CGI. Big deal. You know, uh, there's some things in... The sequels that didn't look that, you know, up to real anyways. But, you know, even though it's a CGI Freddy coming out of the wall, it still kind of looks real. And it is very creepy. And, and uh, most of the scenes in the film, uh, you cannot even tell it's a special effect. That's just how amazing it is. Um, when Nancy was sinking and, like, the tar, it was so creepy. And then she was falling down into the bed. And that's CGI too, but... It's really good CGI and it looks fantastic. And it's so creepy. This film is so creepy. Oh man, it's awesome. And uh, you know, Kyle Gallner, you know, swimming in the pool. All of a sudden he shows up, you know, in the, in a pool. Another pool that's... Uh, I don't want to give too much away, but let me just tell you, it's really creepy. I'm not going to tell you guys everything, but uh, you got to see this movie. Um, I love this film. I will be doing a review of the Blu-ray and DVD when it comes out. That's how good this film is. I will be buying the Blu-ray and DVD. Let me tell you that. I'm going to buy both. Because that's how good this movie is. Uh, if I ever see the poster, I will buy it. If I see anything for this movie, I will buy it. And all I can say is New Line Cinema Dunes. Guys, make a sequel. Because this movie is amazing. I want to see a sequel to this film. I am ready. I know. I know. Jack Earl Haley had to sign for three movies when he did this film. So, oh my gosh, guys, make two sequels, please. Um, you know, this is real, true horror right here. This is, you know, like classical horror. I mean, I've never seen a horror film this good in years. That's how good it is. It's, it's phenomenal. Okay, it's amazing direction, amazing art direction. Uh, Jack Earl Haley gives a fantastic performance, and a lot of people will say, oh, he's not the scariest Robert. You know what? He gave me the creeps during this film. And I'm going to be totally honest with you. I think Robert England and Jack Earl Haley's Freddy are on the same level. They both creep the hell out of me. And, like, if I ever saw Jack Earl Haley's Freddy in real life, I would be freaking terrified because this film was absolutely terrifying. I jumped 20 times during this film. I mean, I, even some scenes, you know, I, I knew where the scares were coming because I saw a couple of clips, but even those scenes I jumped during. And they're, you're just jumping tw like 20 times during the film. I mean, the whole film is a giant nightmare. So just imagine being immersed in nightmare, and that's what you're getting. So everybody, go out, see this remake. It's fantastic, and everybody have a great night.